Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have 3 power t power 3 divided by 9 to the power of t equals 81. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, this is to the base of 3, and this is to the base of 9, and this is to the base of 81. So we can express this as 3 to the power of t to the power of 3 divided by 9 is a perfect square which is 3 to the power of 2 and this is raised to the power of t equals 21 is simply 3 to the power of 4. So from here, if you have a power n or to the power of n equals a power n times m. So we apply this right here. That means we are going to have 3 to the power of t to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 2 times t that is 2t and this equals 3 to the power of 4. Now, if you have a power n divided by a to the power of n equals a power n minus n. So we apply this right here. So what we are going to have will be 3 to the power of t to the power of 3 minus 2t because this and this are equal so we subtract the exponent and this equals 3 to the power of 4 remember we just applied this identity right here so now what we are going to do next will be to apply this other identity if you have a power b equals a power c that means b equals c because the pieces are the same we compare the exponents so from here we are going to compare this so we are simply going to have t power 3 minus 2t and this equals 4 so we have this cubic equation that we are going to solve now how do we solve this? We can decide to move this 4 over here, so it becomes negative 4. We have t power 3 minus 2t minus 4, and this equals 0. Now, we will be testing for a value of t that will satisfy this equation, so let's start. If t equals 1, if you insert 1 here, we are simply going to have Instead of writing t, you have 1 power 3 minus 2 times 1 minus 4. And what you are going to have from here will be 1 power 3 is 1 minus 2 times 1 that is minus 2 minus 4. So 1 minus 2 is, this is negative 1, negative 1 minus 4. So this will simply give you negative 5. And negative 5 is not 0. So we Proceed and make use of 2. We consider 2. When t equals 2, we are simply going to have this is 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 2 minus 4. What is this one giving us? So let's check. 2 power 3, this is 8. Minus 2 times 2, this is minus 4, minus 4. Minus 4, minus 4, that is minus space. So we have 8 minus 8. And this will give us 0. So this equals 0. So that means this is one of the solutions. So we can then recopy this problem now. Because we have gotten one of the solutions. So we have t power 3 minus 2t minus 4 equals 0. And we have gotten t equals 2 as one of the solutions. So this simply means that if we have t minus 2, taking this 2 over here, this equals 0, right? So this becomes one of the factors. That also means that if we have t minus 2 times other factor, other factors, if you have t minus 2 times other factors, what you are going to get will be t power 3, minus 2t, minus 4. 
have you seen it? So if you multiply other factors with this t minus 2, we are going to have this equation. So we are going to look for the other factors. Now we have gotten one factor, which is t minus 2, and the solution is t equals 2. So let's find the other factors. So for us to find the other factors, we are simply going to divide this t power 3 minus 2 t minus 4 by this, and we are going to get the other factors, right? So let's do that. That means we are simply going to have t power 3 minus 2t minus 4 divided by this factor that we have gotten, t minus 2, will give us other factors. So, so let's do the division. We can make use of long division or the synthetic method, but in this video, we are going to make use of synthetic method. In synthetic method, we are going to copy out this numerator. We have t power 3 minus 2t minus 4. And for you to make use of synthetic method, you need to write it in full. Let me write it here. Synthetic method or diffusion. So here is it, synthetic method. So you need to write out this in full, which is t power 3. Remember, there's no t power 2. But in synthetic method, you need to add it. You have t power 2. Then the next one will be t. This is t power 1. That is, we have negative 2t power 1. Then the next one will be what? Negative 4, which is a constant. Now, here the coefficient is 1. Here the coefficient here is 0. Because we don't have it. That's why the coefficient is 0. So, the next thing you're going to do is you divide it by what we have here, which is t minus 2. So from here, you can write out all the coefficients from 1, 0, copied it out. This is just negative 4. So you copy out all the coefficients, which is 1, 0, negative 2, and negative 4. All these coefficients. Now, this, we are going to equate it to 0 the denominator, so we have t minus 2 equals 0, that means t equals what 2. So we have it here, let's draw a line. We draw a line, then we copy out the 2, and we have it here. So, in order for us to divide, we are going to print down this one. You bring it here. So you have 2 times 1, that is 2. 0 plus 2, you have then again, let me write it 2 here. You have 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. Then 2 times 2, you have 4. Negative 2 plus 4, you have 2. 2 times 2, you have 4. Negative 4 plus 4, you have 0. So these numbers here will form the coefficient of the other factors, like I said earlier. So let's write up the number. So remember, we are going to reduce it by 1. We are going to reduce the power here by 1. Here the power is 3. So when you are writing this coefficient here, we are going to reduce it by 1. So you are going to start with power 2. You have t power 2 and the coefficient is 1. Right? Then you have plus 2t. I'm just copying it out. Plus 2. So this becomes the other factor that you were looking for. Now if you multiply this by the t minus 2, that we had earlier on. Look at it here. This other factor, we have gotten it now. So if you multiply by t minus 1, you are simply going to get the original equation, which is t power 3 minus 2t minus 4. So that is it. Now we have gotten this factor. We have gotten this factor. Now we can solve our equation. So what we are going to do is just to have it as t power 3 plus 2t plus 2 times t minus 2. Instead of writing this one, then everything now equals 0. Remember? So we have factorized it now. So let's equate each of these to 0. So we start with this one now, the simpler one, which is t minus 2 equals 0. And also we have this one here. This look at it, it's t power 2, not t power, look at it, it's t power 2 here. Not t power 3, so it's t power 2. So we have t power 2, plus 2t, plus 2, and this also equals 0. So from here, 
we are going to solve, we have t equals 2. That is our t1, like what we had earlier on. Now to solve this other one here, we are going to make use of the formula method. So you write the formula in respect to t, we have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a sin divided by 2 times a. And here our a is 1, our b is 2, and this is our c. So let's insert it here. We are simply going to have t equals negative b, that is negative 2, our b is 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 2 power 2, minus 4 times a, that is 1 times c, that is 2. And this is divided by 2 times 1. So from here, we are going to have t equals this is negative 2, plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 2, that is 8, divided by 2. So from here, what you are going to have will simply be t. We have t equal this is negative 2 plus or minus. This is square root of this is negative 4. So you have negative 4 divided by 2. So from here, we are going to have t equal this is negative 2 plus or minus. Then there's minus here, we can have square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 divided by 2. We have t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of negative 1 is i times square root of 4 is 2 divided by 2. So we divide everything by 2. We have t equals negative 1 plus or minus i. So we have two values for t. We have t equals negative 1 plus i. That is our t2, and also we have t equals negative 1 minus i. That is our t3. So we have two complex solutions and one real solution, which is 2. So if you want to insert this particular value for t, you will discover that it's going to satisfy that equation. So what you are going to do is just to check. We have t equals 2. Let's check it here. You have 3 power 2 power 3 divided by this is 9 power 2 equals 81. 2 power 3 is 8, so you have 3 power 8 divided by this is 9 power 2. 9, 9 is a perfect square. That is 3 power 2 or 3 power of 2 equals 81. So from here, we are going to have 3 to the power of 8 divided by 2 times 2, 4. We have 3 power 4 equals 81. So, since the bases are the same, the exponents are different, we subtract. We have 3 power 8 minus 4 equals 81. And from here, we have 3 power 8 minus 4 is 4, and this equals 81. And 3 power 4 that is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that is 81, and this equals 81. So that has satisfied the equation, and ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Thank you, and goodbye.